Okay, we received our GPS chart plotters today. One of them we received a few days ago, the, the 12 inch one, the 16 inch one came in today. We kind of had a panic moment because the box came in just sliced and diced. I mean, it's, it's cut here, it's cut here, it's cut throughout all this stuff. And uh, anyhow, we opened it up and to our amazement, the box is perfect. And this is our box for the 16 that was in that box. Everything's just marvelously perfect on it. You got that full frame? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we're going to take a pause out here. Here's our 12, and this is our GPN uh, GPS 24HD NEMA antenna that we're also going to install. So we've got the 16 Garmin XSV, the 12, the 12 Garmin XSVs. These are both chart plotters chart plotter models and uh, the knee antenna. Which is also supposed to be a heading sensor too. Yeah, and we're very confused on the heading sensor slash GPS antenna because there's a few channels on YouTube that say that those are like, uh, you need the steady cast as well as the Garmin antenna. So we're gonna research that furthermore as best we can. This is what's in the box. Start out, this looks like a plastic cover. This is the Garmin cover that goes over the actual face of the unit. A little packing. There it is. This is what we all been waiting for. This is a 16 inch unit. Place it here. Inside the box, we still got a little box. A box in a box. Box in a box. Lots of packing. Garmin did a really good job packing this stuff. This unit came from Texas, is my understanding. And we have some paperwork. Make some paperwork. And that looks like the bottom of the box. That should do that. Right here. Okay, in the box. These are the small gaskets. I guess you use these when you're installing it into a flush mount situation. These may also go on across the top here. Don't see that happen. For when you snap these on, I was thinking. At any rate, I'm not sure what they are. We'll figure it out in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come to that conclusion. This looks like a power wire to power the unit from 12 volt. And we'll be installing that. These are ferrite connectors that go on the end of the cables. Those are something we got to install too. This is a, a NEMA, NEMA connector. Or Goes to the back of the unit to our NEMA network. We had to add this little T to the bus bar that we've got going on for the NEMA. NEMA. Never can understand how to pronounce that. Miscellaneous hardware. We got some screws. Looks like nut plates. Probably for uh, putting underneath your dash underneath your metal where you're mounting mount things. Thing. Yeah, they're probably stainless so they don't get uh, affected by magnetics and whatnot when you're installing a system. I'm gonna guess and say that's what that is. At any rate, it's mounting hardware. So, that concludes the 16, as far as all the goodies in the boxes go. We've got the 16, the goodies. All the goodies. More goodies. <laughs> uh, nothing in this side. Uh, you probably you took something out. You just said put it back. Mm. Yeah, they probably have something. At any rate, there's paperwork that comes with the instructions. Garmin pin code protected. That's kind of nice. Hmm. That way if somebody steals it, they can't get in it. Lord well. This is the actual unit itself. Sure about the gasket here. It's probably for when you're mounting it in the flush mount. Yeah, I'm not sure how that would go. Yeah, anyway, we'll figure it out. So this is the actual GPS map 68616. XSV. XSV with a Gen five. Plus or Nav Plus. We got Nav Plus, and that's the back of it. Uncovered MIA. I don't know why that's missing. 
They've got it covers for everything but that one. Everything but the power, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? I don't know what that's about. Nothing in the box. Unless we missed something. Yeah. Check that box real quick. There's not a connector. I don't, I, it looked like the bottom of the box to me. Yeah, we got the bottom of the box. There's nothing <laughs> yeah. in the box. Alrighty. That's our 16 inch unit. Yeah, we got to put those sides on it, I guess. Yeah, we'll snap we'll covers. We'll do that later. Huh? Yeah, we'll do that one after we in, do the install. When we do the install, yeah. So that completes the 16 inch model. So we're going to put that over here for now. Put all that stuff over there. There's the gimbal mount for it. All the screws, the hold down screws and knobs. And the template. And the template for flush mounting. And the cover. On the screen. Okay. 12-inch unit, GPS mount, 12 XSV. XSV. <laughs> These are all in the chart plotter section, by the way. We cheated and we unboxed this a couple of days ago when we got it. Yeah, we're kind of excited about it and we wanted to make sure to see if it was going to fit where we wanted to put it. We're replacing a What's the other unit we took out? A uh, 106 SV. Yeah, Garmin 106 SV. And that one comes with the mount on the bottom. And the reason we, we we wanted the better graphics and we also wanted the uh, capability of doing recording of the sonars and whatnot. And, on the and networking the two units. And networking the two units. The 106 SV would not network with these and nor will it. Um, I don't really know what it networks with because we just kind of, when we figured out that it didn't do what we wanted it to do, we kind of disregarded it and been into it. It's got the same strips for the snap on the top and bottom after you flush them on it to cover up the screws. Um, this is another cover, just oh, like yeah. the big cover that goes over the screen, it's a screen protector cover. Flush mounting template. This for the 8612. Yeah. And then we got another box in a box. Another box in a box. Box full of goodies. And another bottom of a box. And another <laughs> empty bottom of a box. Guaranteed. Yep. Okay, so that's that. So we roll up onto this guy now. And what's in our box in the box? Got some paperwork. directions and paperwork that comes with it. Does it say the Garmin pin thing too? Yeah, yep. it does. Garmin, Garmin pin, pin protected. code protected. In the box, we got another power line. This is for the 12 unit. I'm not positive, but the 106 SB, I believe it had a smaller gauge wire. So I was kind of planning on just doing you know, plug and play with the other connectors. Mm. But we're we'll able to change them out to this now. And then we got the NEMA, 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 NEMA. NMEA, however you say it. Yeah, NMEA connectors. That's all that comes in the box as far as connectors goes. Okay. We also, the nuts and bolts. Uh, while we're talking about connectors, oh, yeah. we had to get a network cable, which I forgot. That's that networks the 12 to the 16. So we got a six foot connector. These are going to be sitting side by side. We didn't need six feet, but uh, that's the shortest one. Uh, Garmin Max, and that comes with a plug. It looks like you can put in your put in the top of the dash. Okay. Let's get that bugger out of there. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a plug. Uh, route your wire in and protect it so it doesn't chap on the metal. That'll be a good idea. We've got about six or eight cords that are going to be coming out of one hole, so we're not going to be using it more than likely. At any rate, that's our network connector. It's a, my understanding is it's the same thing as a Cat 6. Cat 5 yeah. or Cat 6. I believe it's Cat 6, though. You could technically use those. Garmin recommends you do not use those. 
In our case, we, we can try to get away with it because we have an enclosed cabin, so we're, our equipment's not going to be getting wet in the spray. If you got an open boat, like a bass boat or something like that, uh, you're going to need those. Definitely stay with garment. And that's it for that package. And like the 16 unit, we've got some screws, miscellaneous hardware, some nut plates that you could install to mount it down with, I take it. And that's about it for that. Yes. Oh yeah, those. Now there's what was in that box in that 16. The yeah. ferrite connectors. And then we've got the small gaskets. And I believe the gaskets are what go in the, uh, around the perimeter of it. You have to install it to maybe kind of keep it a little more waterproof than what you normally would do. So that's it. That's for the uh, A612. Get these back in the box real quick. Directions back. having to cut any of the network cables we ordered these connectors so if we mess up we've got ends to put on the uh, the cat 5 slash 6 wires i'm not sure how that's going to route yet it's probably an anti-shock thing hmm. keep you from getting zapped i have no Crazy. idea really yeah it's pretty <laughs> nice clean copper yeah you know we got two of those you have to buy two at a time you can't buy just it's one it's a two pack yeah that's yeah, a two pack so that's that's for the network cables in the event we end up having to cut our network cable which we should not have to do but we always like to be prepared well we're also going to purchase a radar unit to run our radar cables through the tubing that Hughescraft provided on our boat we're going to have to cut that cable to get it routed properly that's the 12, 12 unit. We're pretty excited. It's got a uh, bigger screen than the uh, 106 SV did. They just don't have the buttons down the side that the 106 had. Yeah, I think that's how they got the bigger screen. But the footprint of this unit is all but identical as far as the height and the width. So the 8612 in our, our 106, 106 SV. SV yeah, same size. Yeah, I believe you could even share the gimbal. You wouldn't even need the gimbal mount. Hmm. The back side of it. We didn't see the back oh, side. Okay, we're going to see the back. There's the back you side. See, you and don't it's also it's missing the power cable. Yeah, they don't cover up that power thing. That's kind of odd. You'd kind of think they'd furnish the cover with that, too. Made in Taiwan. Obviously, they don't, though. There's where the SD cards go. waterproof rubber boot over them. It has one chip in it already. Not sure what that is. I didn't look at the 16 unit to see if uh, it had a chip in it. Yeah. Let's, we'll investigate that. We ordered this with the Navonix 2. I believe that's what it is. Both of these units we got the Navonix 2 units. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm not sure if that's a chip or if that comes built in internal. One thing you read says it's internal, another thing says it's a chip. So I think you can order it both ways. And we ordered it with it in it already. This this unit, the 8616, also has a chip in it. Okay. So it should be good to go. And that's it for these two units. This is the Garmin GPS 24XD NEMA 2000 uh, GPS antenna slash heading sensor. And you can see it installs through the trunk system also, so that'll be another T connector that we'll have to install. And the box on it, let's see what's going on. Here. There's, There's the antenna. Yeah, that's the unit. This is the NEMA T. This is for 
putting it on a pole mount or, or some kind of a smaller mount capability it comes in this box this all just came in this box we did not order any of this stuff separately yeah it's just this part is, of the deal stand uh, my understanding you can put this under the console you could mount it possibly like that it comes with its own cable this runs from the unit from the antenna to the uh the, the T, the, the, Nema, oh, okay. the Nema T. Is a chart plotter will get a Nema cord and That's some instructions. It's got instructions. It's gaskets for the mounting surface of the antenna. There's a base where you mount it, hard mount it to the base of it. Looks like that would mount in here also, possibly. We'll figure it out. There's and then we got some directions in the box. Yeah, some instructions. We're assuming. <laughs> yep, GPS NEMA 2000 is all it says on the, on the front of it. But at any rate, that's the paperwork that comes with it. You got two packs of paperwork, a middle tag, and that's it for that antenna. Also, since we're going to be rewiring, we got these from Amazon. Got a uh, box of connectors. Where did we get oh, these gaps? These are all just wire splicers. These are the ones that are sealed. They're uh, supposedly heat shrinkable. So they should heat shrink. We got some heat shrink tubing. Also from Amazon. So we can help reinforce our ends. I like to, when I put an end on a cable, I like to put a sleeve of heat shrink on it for the bounce and the vibration to help support the wires and keep things from wiggling around too much and, and possibly separating. And when you're doing anything like this or uh, anything that moves, like a car, a boat, you should never solder the connectors. When you solder wires, the solder runs back into the wire and as it gets bounced around, it can actually break the wire. So that's why you're never supposed to solder them. I see a lot of people on YouTube, they solder all their connections because they're looking for that best connection they can get. But from what I've been taught, and that's my method, I don't solder. We come from an aircraft background, so we have to do things based on that. More connectors. More connectors, just ring connectors, butt connectors, splice connectors. We just kind of order an entourage all of them. And that will probably do it for us for this, for this segment. We're yes, spend our Memorial Day weekend installing this stuff. Yeah, we might have some hair left when we get done. <laughs> It'll be just months. Thanks for watching.